Today we are back in the Abstract Pump Stopping channel once again, and today we have the world's first STG-44 Vicious Medal on World War II by Abstract Miracle in a two-man. He's playing hardpoint on the map Gibraltar, which seems to be the most common map for me on World War II. I don't know why that is. He's playing smartly, using the head glitches when needed, waiting for the enemy when needed. It's just the perfect playstyle for such a powerful weapon. Now that you know a little bit about the gameplay, let's get into my thoughts and opinions on the World War II beta. First of all, I want to say I love how Call of Duty is going back to its roots with uh, World War 2 just giving us the old nostalgic feel to the good old days. I do however have a problem with some of the kill streaks in regard of their score to earn, although I know the paratroopers have been buffed to a certain degree, I still don't feel they are worth the amount of score they are as they only averaged about 2-3 kills when you call them in. You have a better chance of getting more kills with an artillery barrage than the paratroopers. I mean, look at some of the score streaks from Black Ops 3. The Wraith averages out more than 6-8 to eight kills per use, which is from a 1,150 score streak, I think, which is a noticeable difference in comparison to the paratroopers. And the mortar strike. I don't think they're worth it at all. I've used them twice and both times I've got one kill and that's it. That's just one kill. But the game itself is pretty solid. I love how the game feels. I, I love the connection. This connection for a beta is really good. If you remember the connection on Black Ops 3, it was awful. You'd always lag out if you remember that. It heavily reminds me of World at War for obvious reasons. For the choice of weapons, the setting, I imagine the storyline, but we only have the trailer to go off on that. The game is good and I love how they're listening to the community to make the game better for us to play and altogether some of the weapons feel balanced and the game feels smooth for a beta. So all in all, apart from the paratroopers, I can't really complain. This year is going to be a good year for the players and teams since COD is going to be going back to the way it was and people may consider watching it again. A lot more may start to enjoy it and maybe a lot more people may hop on to play. So. It is, in my opinion, a win-win situation for everyone, for how the game is so far. I guarantee the players in this team will provide more of these gameplays for you to enjoy as a whole, and I hope you look forward to them in the future. Miracle's link will be in the description. I heavily advise you check him out for more of these gameplays on other Call of Duties as well as this one. My link will be down there too if you want to see more from me. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications on, and yeah, I'm going to leave you the rest of the gameplay. And I'm Mr. Feed signing out. Peace.
This is a Chucky Beat production.